So I just got back seeing 12 films from Sundance Film Festival. I actually got to see these films online, do the online portion of the Sundance Film Festival. And I'm going to be talking about all 12 of these on this channel. So for the next few weeks, you're going to be seeing a lot of Sundance reviews for movies that unfortunately you will not be able to see until they come out later this year, hopefully. But I did want to share my experience at the festival and talk about some of the more exciting titles that I saw, including this one, which features a recent Emmy Award winning actor and a famous A-list celebrity who stars, produces, directs, and writes this movie. I am talking about a real pain, which if you haven't guessed the true actors, is Kiernan Culkin from Succession, brother of McKelly Culkin, and Jesse Eisenberg of Zombieland fame, of uh, just all these great movies, Social Network. He directed a film last year uh, at Sundance, which wasn't really good, but he's back with a real pain. And I just want to acknowledge something real quick. I haven't been on this channel for about a week. I've been really sick this past week. I've had a really bad throat, as you can probably tell by my voice. I just haven't been able to do much talking. So I apologize that my voice will be coming in and out of today's episode. So this film of real pain follows two cousins, uh, played by Kieran Culkin and Jesse Eisenberg. They're going through a little bit of a rough patch in their family dynamic. Their beloved grandma has recently passed away and it's hit the cousin played by Kieran Culkin extremely hard. Jesse Eisenberg and the him decide to go on this trip to Poland to discover their grandma's past, their grandma coming of Jewish descent, having lived in this time as the Holocaust is going. So they embark on this journey to basically see the history of Poland at that time. It is a movie that is best described as a dark comedy with a lot of heartfelt emotion in it. And this is, if I'm correct, Jesse Eisenberg's second directorial debut. He had a film that premiered at Sundance last year, which starred Julianne Moore, which was not very good. But I'm happy to report that A Real Pain was a big step up for him as a director. One, and I think the most important part of his directorial effort, is I think he got significantly better performances out of his lead actors. This is maybe the best Jesse Eisenberg has been in a movie since his social network. I think he is sensationally good in this movie and I think he brings a lot of the heart and emotion to this movie in a complicated role of this family member who doesn't really know how to reach his cousin who he was once close to he still considers himself close to but they're just in very different parts of their life now and if Jesse Eisenberg is able to direct a great performance out of himself he directs an even better performance out of Kieran Culkin who is the clear standout in this movie Kieran is a real just charisma fireball in all the best ways possible he comes in he takes over this movie and his character is the most interesting because he's very irate at times he's very angry he's a character that has clear charisma and he's also somebody that just kind of naturally irritates people he'll get them friendly he'll get them talking and then he'll push them away and it's just this character that has this yin yang dynamic the whole time and it makes this character hard to root for, really even understand. And that's where Kieran's able to just benefit as a performer in this movie, where he just gets to play all dynamics of this complicated character going through tough time. And what really impressed me about Jesse Eisenberg's directing and writing in this movie is how real everything in this movie feels. The emotion feels all completely thought out and logical for this world. You understand the dynamic of these two cousins in this 88 minute runtime. It's a quick, breezy film that is not devoid of actual heartfelt conversations and emotion, of genuine comedy moments, and also just fascinating philosophical questionings and ponderings within this movie. I think the most interesting of them is this idea of what is grief how do we respond to grief what is family grief that idea of like our past and reflecting on where we came from to understand who we are now and in particular this aspect of the holocaust which i found very interesting how it's utilized in this movie as they go to museums as they kind of see the tourist element of these 
great human injustices done in the 1940s in Poland, in Germany, as, as the Nazis reigned in Europe. And seeing that kind of just, you know, taken about and just talked about so casually in the historical lexicon of it and just the characters struggling to understand that and relate to it where, you know, Jesse Eisenberg's character is someone who is more on board with that, who is more taking it in from a historical standpoint where Kieran is uh, taking this and hearing all this and just doesn't appreciate the Taurus gleam, or gleam of it all and is like wants the realness of this and it is a reflection of how and where they are in their lives and how they process grief but it's also a fascinating study of just the truth of that how weird it is to both honor but also make a tourist attraction out of it and this idea of what tourism is does it devalues anything and i'm not saying that's what uh these museums do because i think they play a really crucial part but it is really easy to forget the human element that actually made these moments in history real and tragic and just kind of forget about it as this historical event that we all know, but maybe we don't all feel. And this movie is all concerned about how we feel. And that is what Jesse Eisenberg is trying to capture in a real pain. It's a real feeling is what this movie is so fascinated with. And it's what Jesse Eisenberg is itching to discover in this movie. I don't think this movie works in all fronts. I think specifically, and this is going to sound shocking to anyone who follows this channel, I think the runtime of this movie does affect this movie. I think this movie needed to be longer, to be honest. I think we needed to get more of a relationship between these two cousins to really feel this adventure that they're going on better fleshed out to really feel it because i think one of the time we get to the third act of this movie it's just kind of missing one or two more emotional punches there's one really great scene and it's really dictated by jesse eisenberg in this scene of him having this conversation with these other people who are on the tour group with him and he has a very honest conversation about his relationship with his cousin and the struggles that he's facing. And that's what the movie needed more of. And Jesse Eisenberg and Kieran are great in this movie. I just needed a few more scenes of this to really flesh out this relationship. Regardless, for what this movie is, there is enough to recommend here. And I think it is definitely a great sophomore effort from Jesse Eisenberg, showcasing that he has a lot to work with as a director and specifically a writer, and that he is capable of making something far more interesting than his first freshman film would suggest i would highly recommend checking out a real pain whenever audiences are able to see it specifically because i do believe this is the type of roles that we're going to see kieran excel out in the next few years post the succession uh emmy win i just think we're going to be seeing more of him so this is kind of going to be the movie star playbook for him where this is going to be what people want to see out of Kieran, and he excels in it. I'm very glad I got to see this film, and I would highly recommend anyone checking it out. I'm giving it three out of five stars here on the Beniverse Movie Channel. And so guys, I just also want to say, you can clearly tell I've been sick. That's why I haven't been doing any reviews the past few days. I'll be trying to get back to more of a normal routine in these next few days as my voice continues to heal. But I also just want to say I'm putting myself out there. My voice hurts. I'm not feeling the great. But I wanted to get reviews out for you guys. So if you could do me a favor, uh, subscribe to my channel. I, this, I hope this shows how dedicated I am to you guys and this channel. So take a second and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more reviews. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.